Hi fam, just on my yoga mat. Did some fresh start yoga with Adrian. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's well, here on YouTube and she's bloody amazing. I really love her. I love being led through a practice, even though I'm training to do, to be a teacher. Part of me feels like it's not ever gonna be in a formalized setting. So it's more about incorporating these practices into the coaching that I am providing and the space I am providing for people. So that's been really fun today. I'm just post stretch, post Shavasana. <laughs> and I thought I would come on and check in. I have been doing some cute little bits of filming in and around life kind of happening recently which has been really nice so I'm going to make a little compilation of some life that's been happening because I feel like life as a moving prayer isn't just a concept 111 on my timer it isn't just a concept it's it's more than a feeling and it's stronger than a knowing but it's not a knowing with the mind. And I feel like if you feel me, you feel me, you know, you know, but it can be quite challenging to share, for example, how, how we view life and how we view God, how we view the universe, how we view ourselves through understanding that everyone will receive what they need and what they expect from you and your share. So there's never really any worry or concern about what you share and how you share it. But I do find, or and I do find that if I am particular with my wording and I convey meaning with feeling and feeling with meaning, people are much more receptive and open to hearing and laying down the weapons of defensiveness and attack, which actually just come from needing to have that in the first place, you know, in the environments that we're raised or in the societies we're a part of, in the environment we've created internally. And I feel like I'm gaining a lot of clarity on detachment from judgment of self and other, but especially of self. Part of why I love my perfectionism is because it has taken me on a journey of beauty, of pure magic, of striving for perfection, of being aware of my inner reality and wanting to understand the nuances and energy that for me just create the deliciousness of life. And as I allow myself to dream and create and understand more of where I've come from energetically, physically, emotionally, yeah, I feel like there's a, a ceasefire within, <laughs> the conflict within is so much more peace oriented. It's all about finding the similarity and just accepting that the difference is there, accepting that the duality is there and allowing that to really sit within self as our power of control. Right. I watched a great YouTube video the other day where a beautiful woman, and I forget who, and I'm so sorry, but she was talking about how we can't control if someone were to employ us or someone were to hire us or someone were to, um, you know, choose us as their partner or whatever, whatever, you know, based on the individual circumstance. However, we can add more likelihood of being chosen, of being selected, of having that thing manifest, right? And I think the same goes for peace in the world, in the sense of 
we can't control how others receive us and we most certainly can't control how people choose to act or react from their place of pain but we can create an atmosphere in which that pain is is okay to be seen and also not taken personally or on board with us but just a peaceful place that's very connected to god to source to spirit to whatever resonates for the highest good of all and so it is for the highest good of all and so it is we can create a place where people just find the missing piece the puzzle piece the literal piece of mind of speaking to the part in the energy body that is most needing to be seen that is most neglected and as i choose to honor this practice what i notice is the most necessary part of a human generally that i feel needs to be seen is is building their confidence and building their security and building their safety within their frame within themselves to discern to make their own decisions to know their own path to love and choose and accept themselves and my whole life is around building the people around me up so that we are all supporting one another on this journey through life and we become amplifications of peace peace body of peace life of peace mind and i've not heard anyone else use the term peace body before P probably they have or they will or whatever you know i would never lay credit to this phrase it's flowing through me and i do have a gift with language so it just is what it is right but the peace body for me is a lot about whole acceptance and allowing us to feel the shame to feel the rejection to feel the pain and the loss and the grief and just allow it to be there for as long as it needs to whilst consciously breathing into and shifting through that space and just allowing ourselves to be human and to feel these things and allowing ourselves to feel those things allows us to have a lot more space and capacity for others to do the same a lot a lot a lot and sometimes just being in our mere presence if we are able to do that shifts things for people and they make uh, you know crazy cool decisions about their own reality and their own mental concepts just from having that brief interaction or that brief awareness so this is why i share on my youtube this is why i play the game and learn to love it learn to enjoy it because there was a long time in my life where i thought fuck being in the public eye or fuck being exposed you know fuck sharing things with people because it was so poorly received often and that was obviously my construct my reality that i created and co-created with everyone so you know it really does take a lot of radical responsibility to say i'm not happy being where I am and I'm going to take action day by day by day by day by day by day by day finding the support opening up being brave and not always being the boldest or the loudest in the room but consistently being the bravest version of yourself and that's really what bravery looks like to me and it's what it feels like too you know Breathing in to the back of the body. Breathing down into the body. What if the right people were always at the table? What if all the what ifs were just puzzle pieces that led to the now? And what if every now is a fully completed puzzle?
finding ways to access more of ourselves is my life. And I love it. It feels counterintuitive sometimes to share these moments with the internet because I can't really see you. <laughs> I feel you, I feel the energy, I feel the exchange of moment. But it's, uh, it's a real experience getting to know yourself through this lens. I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> well, obviously, right? But I'm gonna go and get outside for the day and probably do some more filming in my own special way. So yeah, I love you, thank you, and um, I hope you choose to open yourself up to new possibilities in life, in every moment. I hope you allow yourself to release resentment and blame and judgment of other behaviours that have no direct impact on you, and even if they do, that you can free yourself from added pain from that situation that you are inadvertently recreating for yourself. That's not a blame or a judgment. You know, I do it, we all do it, we have done it. So we have to create systems and spaces to overcome those patterns. I'm so passionate about coaching. I'm so passionate about sharing and I'm so passionate about devotional play. I would love to invite again anyone who feels resonant with my being, with my body, with my message to follow and share and open your heart to this journey we have online and maybe set an intention for working together in the future. If not now, when? Now is the future, right? All unfolds in the perfect way. <laughs> Namaste.